probably in the ballpark of Oh my gosh. So Talmadge did not get better. He's getting worse. So an ambulance is here to take us to the freaking hospital. And uh, I gotta get his car seat. Oh my gosh. Talmadge is now getting an x-ray of his lungs to make sure everything is okay. Can you say good morning? <laughs> say hi! Can you say good morning? Look at this handsome Daddy. hair Daddy. and his cute little outfit. Say hi to everyone! Wow, that's a good hello this morning. Good morning, you guys. This morning is off to a great start because I am feeling a lot better this morning. Talmage is dressed for the day before uh, two o'clock in the afternoon, which is awesome. And I'm even dressed for the day, kind of. <laughs> and we're getting ready to go to our first doctor's appointment later today. And I am so excited. I have been looking forward to this day um, for about a week now for a couple reasons because um, I think going to the doctor and seeing the, the baby and hearing the heartbeat and all of that It just makes everything feel more real because right now whoa, right now. I just feel sick and I I don't know. I know there's a baby inside of me, but it just doesn't feel as real so I'm really excited to go and just See all of that. I think it's gonna be really cool. I'm also really excited to see how Talmadge reacts. I'm sure he won't even react, but I think it'll be pretty fun. Really? You love the baby too? Huh? You're silly. Guys, can you believe that he's gonna be a big brother? Can you believe you're gonna be a big brother? It's so crazy, huh? So lately I've really loved doing my makeup here in front of my mirror right here because I just get kind of like lightheaded when I stand up too long and do my makeup and stuff. And uh, as you can see, Talmadge is destroying the room. But um, I remembered that a lot of you have asked what I do for my eyelashes. And it's really funny because I like to change up my mascara a lot, but one that I have been liking is the CoverGirl Fibers. And it's called the Super Sizer Fibers. And the brush is like really small so you can get to the base of your eyelash and then, um, you know, so you get like the full eyelash, which I really like. And, but I only, I've only put like one coat on right now and I like to wait a couple minutes and do a couple other things and then put a little bit more on the end so it just like makes them stand out a little bit. But I think that the trick for me that has helped my eyelashes grow a lot is every night I wash my makeup off with coconut oil and I rub it on my eyes for like, you know, 30 seconds or whatever. And then I just wash my face off. And I've probably been doing that for about four years now. And I think that it helps my eyelashes stay thick and full. I don't think I have the longest eyelashes in the whole world or anything, but I think they're decent. You be nice to your head, huh? We don't, oh, no, we don't bonk. Oh, be nice to your head. You need to be nice, you have a cute head. No, you don't hit yourself. Be nice, okay? Okay? Goodness, he's been in this weird phase where he likes to bonk his head really hard because he thinks it's really funny but it's so sad because he's like on the verge of tears but he just like keeps going and going and I'm like stop okay I'm back from class and this monkey just woke up he's a little he's grumpy so tired. tell me so aren't you excited to see your little sibling he's so we don't know yet if it's a boy or a girl but you're a big brother Brayden how do you feel I know in the last video I was pretty like terrified for part of it but i'm just so excited like i remember when we heard talmage's heartbeat for the first time i'm excited to be another dad again it's scary it's crazy that that baby will be so tiny 
But how much would be a cute big brother? It's crazy to think that we're gonna love this baby just as much as we love Talmadge. Because in my head, I feel like I can never love another baby as much as Talmadge. Right, Brandon? Like, yeah, that is a weird concept. But we're gonna have this baby and realize that we didn't know what life was like before we had the baby. Like, like it's just gonna be crazy. So crazy. Yeah. was screaming so now he's laying with his mom. <laughs> Look, there he is. Little baby right there. That tells us eight weeks and three days. Oh, wow. Interesting. We thought ten. Interesting. That's a little better. Technology is so amazing. Look at that. Okay you guys, it is a couple hours later. It's been kind of crazy. Um, as you guys heard at the doctor's office, Talmadge was super, super wheezy. He was super, super whiny. And um, we, did, we didn't really think much of it until we got home. And his little lungs were contracting. And it looks almost exactly like it did when he had RSV. Right, Brayden? It's scary. It's really scary. And it's all happened within a couple of hours. And so we've decided to take him to the doctor. And hopefully they can give us some information on what's going on. I'm really worried about him, though, because... Like, look at him. He's like sleeping. He's so tired, worn out from just breathing. Also, I didn't get to update you guys on on me while we had the doctor a couple hours ago. So I guess I'm only eight weeks pregnant. I thought I was ten weeks, which is kind of weird. And um, everything looks good. And he kind of said that we'll see how big the baby is at 20 weeks to determine when the actual due date will be because it's kind of confusing. P.S. Shout out to all of the pregnant moms out there. Um, let me know in the comments if you are pregnant because we can have like a whole little uh, pregnancy chat going down in the comments and stuff. I want to know like if you guys are sick and what's going on with you because I just love having other friends out there that are uh, pregnant with me so I can like relate to them and stuff. Are any of you guys like that? I don't know. So no fever. You did rectal, right? Yeah, I did. that he's had RSV before. Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this winter just recently. Sucker in his foot.
Did I ruin it for you? So now we had given him the, the second treatment and can you hear he's still really really raspy and if you look at this meter it says 92 even with the oxygen and it needs to be a bit higher. When we take it off he drops down into the mid 80s. <laughs> he's definitely still got a smile though but you can see his lungs are working really hard where his stomach bulges out. You're doing a good job. It's a little bit, but he's still tugging pretty hard and still apparently needing some oxygen there, so okay. I think probably what we need to do is get the uh, get an ambulance to transport him some oxygen. What interest do you have? Oh my gosh, so Talmadge did not get better. He's getting worse, so an ambulance is here to take us to the freaking hospital, and uh, I gotta get his car seat. Oh my gosh. But then he kind of just digresses really quickly. Okay. You're okay. You're doing a good job. Yeah, you're doing a good job. Hold his hand. So good, huh? You're doing okay. <laughs> they have lots of cool things, huh? What's He's that? Got your toe. <gasps> He's got your toe. Hold well, his hand. It's okay. It doesn't hurt. Channel, what's happening? This is going I'm really worried about him. Yeah. His oxygen levels are so low. So we're in the ambulance now. Talmadge is doing a lot better when he has the oxygen on, but as soon as you take it off, his levels drop back to, down to like 75 and they should be at 95. And the pediatrician wasn't sure if we should drive him there. And so we're in the ambulance, like I said, and I guess we'll just see. Poor little guy. Talmadge is now getting an x-ray of his lungs to make sure everything is okay. And he's so scared of everyone, but they're helping, so that's good. Okay, go to your mom. So just a little update. Talmadge has pneumonia. I don't know if I told you guys that. He does not have RSV though, which is a good thing. Um, they're flying us to Salt Lake. Um, we don't know if Jana can go in the helicopter. I know I can't. So Talmadge might have to go by himself. Oh, I can hear it. So we're going to try and drive as quick as we can.
flight, we're going to get our breathing treatment. Okay. All right, we're done doing.